Okay, this is the dead Vista machine, which is an S3700F from HP that's all kind of hosed up. And I want to get the data off. It hasn't crashed, but it's all screwed up. Anyways, here's the IBM S50 that I've got. I've got three of these, actually. It's a nice little machine, and I've got the hard drive over here. Uh, from the Vista machine hooked up. I tried to boot this thing off of this is running XP right now and if I hook this on the SATA point which is the old HDA I can't get it to boot uh, no matter what I do. I'm, so I'm kinda hosed up so what I've done is I've taken the S50 machine hooked up the hard drive here from the goobered up Vista machine plugged it into the SATA port I'm robbing one of the connectors that's off the back of the CD. That's why I've got this unit kind of cocked up. And I've got this booted up into Ubuntu 11.11. Uh, and with that, I can go ahead and read it. I can go ahead and read off the HDA and transfer over to the other HDA. Or I can take a flash drive, plug it in here, and I can use Ubuntu to transfer the data from this drive onto the flash drive. So, or I can transfer it over the LAN. So, okay, this is running. The XPS 50 is booted up in Ubuntu 11.10. And if I plug in a flash drive into the computer over here, It should show up there. It is Lexar. I can click on that, and here's some things I've already, uh, some backup for some other computer. But anyways, this right here, HP, that is the one here. It says 40 gigs. Here is actually the XP machine, which is the S50. I go over here and look at uh, properties of this. Oh, hang on. This has got a uh, 40 gig hard drive, which isn't all that big. But that's that S50 IBM running on Ubuntu right now. And I just booted it off the CD. It's not even installed. And on the S12, you go through and use uh, F F12 to go through and uh, select your boot sequence and you boot off the CD uh, booting off an ISO disk and then if I go over here and look at HP that is actually the drive that is all hosed up with Vista, and it says 307 gigabytes actually it says on the marketing 320 but uh, you got overhead but anyways this is all the different files um, that are on this computer. The factory image is actually the hidden partition that's on my Vista machine here. And it's around, say, 12 and a half gig. And that's all the junk that's supposed to magically back up your when your computer when it's crashed. But mine's all hosed right now. And I don't know if I'm going to throw it away, hit it with a trash can. But anyways, what I can do over here is the stuff I want to save, I can go through here and take something like here, it says LG washers. I can go through and cut that and go through and drop it over here in a file I've made on the XP machine. In fact, you can make it here with create a new folder. It says from dead Vista box. So I can go over here like this and just paste it in there. And then I can go through here and look at this and here's the PDF files, the images. So I've just cut and paste it off the drive it's got problems and put it on my XP machine. I can also go through here and take a file like here it says uh, this has got manuals different types here's the back button. I'm going to take that file and it's ooh that's pretty big 598 meg. I'm going to take that whole thing and cut it and I'm going to stick it on my network here. I'm going to browse the network and 
Let's see if we can find anything here. Oh, I don't have that. I don't have my network turned on here. Hang on a second. Units takes a little. There, I've got the wire connection established. And let's see if I can. Browse the network. There's Lanier. Let's see if we can hit F5. There's the my machines called HP 64 bit. This is on the LAN. What I've done over there, I've created a uh, shared file on that that I can write to. So I've got the permissions set that I can go through and uh, there it is. It says Vista August 23rd 12. So this is on a remote machine. Uh, I've got this folder set on my XP machine that's on the network. So it, it's shared, plus I can go through and got the permission I can write to it. Here I can go through and paste to it. And here it is. 34 megs out of 598. So I'm just moving that whole file to another one on my network. If you want to be conservative, you can just copy it. Make sure it's over there. Uh, I've already got this backed up in another place, but I just wanted to show you how you can do that. So this is running Ubuntu 11.11. Here's one called McCullough 14 E. I'm just going to cut this and stick it over here on my uh, thumb drive. You can paste it. There it is. I can click on this here just to make sure it's there. There's my chainsaw exploded view, so I've moved that over on the thumb drive. For small stuff, a lot of times I just like to use a thumb drive. They've kind of gotten bigger over the years. I've got some really big stuff here. So, this computer's host up, I'm not sure, on the Vista machine, so... Ooh, it's busy. So, here's one called Business Cards. I'm going to cut this, stick it over here on the on the uh, thumb drive here's some stuff called uh, the Mac ISO file I've got here 10.5 I had to use to back up a machine to re redo one I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here on my Vista box excuse me, my XP 64-bit box. So anyways, what I'm doing here is I'm just going through and uh, these two machines here, the, Ford, uh, the HP and the factory image are the SATA drive that I have. It's from a Vista machine that won't boot, it won't restore. I can't even stick the thing on my XP machine and try to use it sort of as a slave because it seems like it doesn't want to uh, look at it. But here I am using Ubuntu. I can take the files, copy and paste them either to like floppy drive if you want to, USB drive, uh, another the hard drive which is on the machine I'm booting on, or I'm dragging over the LAN. So anyways, this S50 here is a kind of a cute machine. It's hinged here on the side, and I've got this thing hinged up purposely because the cable here that's for the power is uh, really short, and it's actually it's for the CD uh, reader here. This actually machine that I've got doesn't have any um, writer in it, and it has an IDE on this, and the SATA ports are down in here are not used so I'm using a connector going to here and hooking to this disk drive which is a 320 gig 
which hasn't crashed, it's just hosed up, the Vista's hosed up, knowing it's Vista. And uh, this is the IBM machine here. It's got a floppy on it. This is a P4 from about 2003-2004 vintage. Bought it off eBay for like uh, 50, 60 bucks, probably three years ago, two years ago. It's got two gigs of RAM here in it. It's only got two slots. Each one hold a gig. There's a sister model I have in a tower form called a M50, and that will hold four gigs. It's got four slots. And this has just got regular, it's got DDR RAM in it. I think it's PC2700. But this is an IBM 8183, and uh, they're pretty cute little packaging. They're not that much expandable. It's got two PC slots over here, PCI slots, which I've never used. And it's a really nice little heavy packaging. Uh, compared to this, this, this HP Slimline here, this is an absolute nightmare. To go ahead and get the RAM out, you have to go through and pull the CD player out. And so you got to undo the screw where the hard drive is, pull the CD player out just to go ahead and change the RAM. So this is just a freaking nightmare. Uh, I've got two of these units I bought um, just when Vista came out because I kind of had to have one with a little bit modern OS. And uh, they've been pretty good. This one in the last year has had some issues where it didn't really want to boot. So it's got really screwed up into where I've got the hard drive pulled and the CD-ROM, and it sometimes will boot into the BIOS, sometimes it won't. And I've even tried just with just one memory stick or none in it, so it's got a major, major problem with it. So I'm not sure if it's going to be junked or whatever, but I want to get the data off. And at first I thought the hard drive was crashed, but uh, first thing I did is I plugged it on here sort of as a slave, and with XP, it never would, won't even boot. It actually totally gets to where it won't boot at all. And I've gone through and mucked around with the uh, BIOS and all that monkey business and haven't, as long as this is plugged in here with my, this is running XP Pro. This has Vista on it. I've tried to change all the settings in there. As long as this is plugged in, it just goes nuts. In fact, the CD burner here from my Vista machine, if it's plugged in, sitting here. I can't even boot the XP machines. I have no idea what the heck's going on with that. I fooled around with the BIOS and finally got tired of it so I just said let me just go ahead and use Ubuntu which works and got this hooked up and I can see this drive over here and I'm transferring the data off this drive with issues on across the network Actually, some on this hard drive, some just to the thumb drive here. So that's what I'm doing. Anyways, just want to share that with somebody. It's a way to kind of pull data off of a, a drive. I did this on a iMac before, a uh, similar type of thing. But I'm using Ubuntu 11.1. Uh, I think I downloaded it maybe a half a year ago. And I'm just booting it off of the CD here. Put it in the CD thing, hit F12 at least on this machine, which is the changes the boot device. You select the CD. After a couple of minutes, it'll come up, and then you can select to uh, not to install. I'm just basically hitting the one like you want to just preview it, and so that's what I'm doing here. Anyways, this uh, these IBM machines aren't bad. I mean, I've, I haven't really had an issue with them, and the one thing I like about use IBM. So the docs are pretty good. The documentation is usually excellent. Uh, and I use IBM. Uh, HP's like this. I've had some that are good, some are bad. I kind of hate this packaging to where it's idiotic that you got to pull the darn uh, CD-ROM out, undo the screws and the, all this junk here to pull the CD-ROM out in order to get at the mem um, what do you call it? The memory. That's just really goofball. But uh, I wasn't even able to boot this off Ubuntu, so this thing might have some ba major issues. I, I could get into the BIOS and try to boot off 
this unit uh, with Ubuntu just to try to move it on to uh, um, USB. It just didn't work. So this might have a motherboard issue. There's some things in that they say where there's too much dust, which seems kind of ridiculous. This is actually fairly clean inside, but uh, it might have a hardware issue. Anyways, just wanted to show what the IBM S50 is. Sorry for the rambling. And uh, using Ubuntu 11.10 to pull the data off this uh, 320 gigabyte hard drive which is basically temporary plugged in here kind of a makeshift way it's kind of a dangerous way it's plugged into the SATA port one of them and uh, I'm just using one of these connectors here the black connectors which is on the back of the CD-ROM that's why I've got this unit kind of tilted up so I've got a little bit free more space it really almost needs a jumper and I didn't have to do anything with the BIOS anything that's what the beauty is I just booted up an Ubuntu it was there. I didn't have to do any screwing around. So that's cool.